Hello, it's Martin from Vazdu Automotive and in this video we will look at the entire history of the BMW i3. Everything starts in 2011 when BMW introduced the very first concept previewing the i3. Just like most car concepts, it looked very futuristic with lots of glass, very open cabin and opposingly hinged rear doors. But a year later in 2012 with the introduction of the i3 concept coupe, people are starting to realize that BMW is very serious about the design, because even though the looks are toned down a bit, it still has a very futuristic character. 2013 marked the announcement of the official production version of the i3, and the good news is that many of the features make it to the final version as well. I'm talking about the carbon fiber on aluminum chassis, very open cabin with a flat floor, thin seats, no fixed B-pillar in the body of the car, lots of recycled materials, especially on the interior, and last but not least, BMW fulfilled the promise of building the car in a factory powered entirely by green energy. The cars came with 60 amp hour batteries, giving them a range of about 70 miles in the real world. One novelty to take care of range anxiety is the optional range extender, which the car was designed with from the get-go, which means it fits right next to the electric motor underneath the boot floor and powers a small generator which can maintain the state of charge in the high voltage battery should you need to go beyond the electric only range. The reason why I'm saying it's quite a unique solution is because the 600cc motorcycle engine can never drive the wheels and runs at set RPM levels to generate enough electricity to keep the battery at the desired charge level. They also had quite good standard equipment for the time covering all the basics. Things like the business navigation system, Bluetooth connectivity, rear parking sensors, rain sensing wipers, electrically folding wing mirrors, cruise control, automatic air conditioning, LED daytime running lights and 7 kilowatt AC charging. All cars came with the domestic 3-pin charging cable as standard but some of them were subject to recalls later due to fire risks. There was a minor revision in 2015, which unfortunately most people suspect was done by BMW to lower the cost of production. The main differences brought in were the fact that the mirror caps were no longer body colored, but all black. There were no straps in the floor of the boot, no net underneath the dashboard and on the backrests of the front seats, no palm rest behind the iDrive controller, and the alloy wheels were no longer handed, meaning if you looked at the car from one side when it was moving, they were essentially spinning the wrong way around. Not all is bad though, because the winter pack, which used to be optional, became standard, bringing heated seats and battery preconditioning to all i3s from that point onwards. To spruce up the range, BMW introduced new colors in 2016. A fluid black, meaning this was the first i3 without the two-tone design, Platinum silver, which replaced the andesite silver, and mineral grey, which replaced both the non-metallic Aravani grey and the metallic laurel grey. A bit later on, a special Mr. Porto edition was announced as well. It featured a unique tuxedo blue exterior and it's easily recognizable by the white accents, for example on the wing mirror caps and the pinstripe going down the entire side of the vehicle. We have sold and know of three examples. Our best guess is that there are just six in total in the UK. The specifications of these are all slightly different and while they started out with the 60 amp hour battery, the majority are 94 amp hour range extenders. However, we believe there is a fully electric example out there as well. On that subject, July of 2016 brings a big tech lift to the i3 with the introduction of a second battery option which has a capacity of 94 amp hours giving the i3 a comfortable real-world range of about 100 miles. To keep up with the bigger battery capacity, DC rapid charging through CCS becomes standard and the AC charger is upgraded from the 7 kW single phase unit to support 11 kW at three phases. The color palette also changes slightly, where the bright protonic blue replaces the solar orange. Only about a year later, in October of 2017, BMW introduces a facelift version of the i3. Given the fairly recent battery upgrade, most of the technology carries over, but there are a few visual upgrades, especially to the front and rear bumpers, new full LED headlights, which are also standard equipment, 
and the infotainment system is brought into sync with the rest of the BMW lineup running on the sixth generation of the iDrive operating system. In terms of colors, Melbourne Red and Imperial Blue are introduced, however the Ionic Silver gets discontinued. Alongside the standard facelifted i3 lives the i3S. The S stands for Sport, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's a better version, just tuned a little bit differently. In terms of design upgrades compared to the non-S, it gets a slightly different front bumper with more black inserts for a more aggressive look and V-large extensions to accommodate the wider 20-inch 431 style wheels exclusive to the S models. Performance-wise, despite the identical hardware, there's a slight boost to the horsepower and the whole suspension is lowered and retuned for sportier handling characteristics. Interestingly, the parking package is not available on the i3S. The reason being, the side ultrasonic sensors used to measure the parallel parking spaces would be covered up by the wheel arch extenders, but you can still get the front parking sensors and the rear view camera as individual add-on options. BMW announces a special fluid grey edition in the August of 2018. The major differentiating factor is that the mineral grey metallic paint extends onto the bonnet and the rear bumper, making it the only color alternative to the standard fluid black cars if you don't want a two-tone contrasting look. 200 models were available in the UK, all exclusively with the range extender and with a decent bundle of optional extras. Yet another tech lift is announced in November of 2018, bringing an even bigger battery at 120 amp hours, bumping the real-world range to about 145 miles. With that, combined with the improving charging infrastructure, BMW decided to drop the range extender option in the UK, however you could still get it in some non-European markets. The color palette gets seriously reshuffled. Jacaro beige is introduced, whereas the protonic blue is discontinued. In mid-2020, Blue Ridge Mountain is added to the palette, followed by cashmere silver and the galvanic gold in November of 2020. 2020 also marks some changes to the configurator. Despite being available earlier on, wireless CarPlay becomes standard on all cars from now on, and so does the Type 2 public charging cable alongside the granite charger. The last color change we know of was the option to combine the fluid black paint with the frozen grey accents instead of protonic blue ones. At this point there have been rumors for months that BMW is considering ending the production of the i3, and that's further reaffirmed with the launch of the unique Forever Edition. 2000 models were made in total, in a choice of either Aventure in Red and Storm Bay. Less than a year later, at the time of filming of this video in June 2022, BMW announces the end of production for the i3 in Leipzig. Throughout the years, 250,000 units of the i3 were produced. Considering it was meant to be a fairly niche, high-end city car, it did much better than many people expected, and despite the age, the demand kept strong until the very last year. Before the end of production, just 10 units of the very limited home run edition are made. These include pretty much full specification, including the Harman Kardon sound system and professional navigation system, which had to be removed from the configurator in the prior months because of the chip shortage caused by the COVID pandemic. They are very easy to spot from the outside because these are the only i3s which came with matte paint from the factory, specifically the frozen dark grey and frozen dark red too. With the end of production, what does the future hold? BMW reckons most i3 drivers will transition to the iX1, which is an electrified version of the brand new X1 compact SUV. Similarly, the electric Mini Countryman should be ready for 2023 to be produced in the Leipzig factory. However, with 80% of i3 owners being new to the BMW brand, I'm not quite sure these two offerings will be enough to retain the customers, because whereas the i3 was built on a dedicated EV platform with a rear-wheel drive, rear-motored layout, the new iX1 and the electric Countryman are just very good conversions of combustion engine vehicles. The BMW i Vision Circular concept previews what's to come in the more distant future. It's built on the principles of rethinking, reducing, reusing and recycling, which conceptually follows more closely to the i3. However, with the planned release date in 2040s, hopefully it won't be too little too late. And I think that's about it. 
Hopefully we did not miss anything. There was a lot of research to be done to make sure that we get all the information correct. Of course, if you spotted any mistakes, feel free to leave them in the comments below for others to know. Otherwise, if you appreciate all the effort, please like the video. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next one.